homeschoolers. I'm here to talk about Singapore math today. And I'm very excited because I love Singapore math. I've learned so much. I've personally had a really incredible journey through teaching my kids Singapore math this year. I feel like I've redeemed my own mathematics education through Singapore math. So I'm a huge fan. When you purchase Singapore math, there's lots of different ways to purchase it. A lot of companies have their own version of Singapore math. So the one I purchased is the one from my father's world because I pretty much purchased everything from there this year. Um, and I love that company. So we purchased it from my father's world. And when you buy it, it's going to come something like this. So this would be the second grade program. There's a book set A for the first semester and a book set B for the second semester. But if you are a person like me who kind of struggles with math, especially in the upper grades, my father's world has a great option. They have this new thing that it's um, a subscription and you receive, when you subscribe for a full year, math lessons for the program you, or the grade level that you bought. So you can use it as much or as little as you want. You could literally have that video teach your child for you or you can kind of teach your kid and when necessary refer to the video for further explanation which is what i'm going to go ahead and try um but yeah i never used a subscription yet i just purchased it for this upcoming school year so in another video i will review that subscription and i'll let you know how it goes so each set for first semester and second semester for second grade like i said comes with a teacher guide, answer guide, um, a textbook and a workbook. The textbook, the student is not going to write in. It's more, that's where they kind of get exposed to what the lesson's going to be about and it's more talking about what they're learning. With the textbook, they will need some loose leaf paper or a notebook because there will be some questions that they need to write down the answers for. And the workbook is where the student's really going to get their practice. <laughs> My son does not have the best handwriting, so please excuse the, that's a workbook, some idea of what it looks like. Very, by the time they get to the workbook, it should be independent because you've already reviewed what the lesson's about in the textbook, and this is where they're gonna practice and put it into, into use, all the skills they learned. So I kinda like that, it's a quick, like, it's not so teacher heavy. When you review the textbook, it's usually five to 10 minutes and then they're off and running, which I really like. And then for fourth grade, it is the same setup. You have the first semester for A and the second semester for B, teacher guide, textbook and workbook, same format. Um, also on the My Father's World website, I got this awesome little practice. It's called Fast Facts. Because when it comes to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, those are things that this curriculum actually teaches them the concept of how it works, how multiplication actually works. It's not just rote memorization. But after they understand the, the foundation and how this system works, then they go on to memorizing the facts which is kind of cool, because I remember growing up, I just went straight to memorization. There was no understanding what I was doing, really. It's just this is this, this times this equals that. That's it. So I like that these kids that use Singapore math are getting this profound understanding of mathematics that I'm now starting to finally understand as an adult through this curriculum. So love it. So this fast fact situation or little product here is really good. My kids loved it. So basically what they do, it says it here. So there's one for division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And um, you're going to paper clip a piece of paper, says it right here, to the back of this card, fill in as many answers as you can in three minutes, then flip the card over to check your answers. So it's really quick. It's not something that's gonna take up an astronomical amount of time. It's three minutes. And every day they, and they're motivated to beat their brother or sister or their best score, hopefully their best score. So this is an example of the multiplication. As you can see, the child kind of just as quickly as they can answers the questions. And then 
let's see, my son was working on subtraction. Then they flip it over. So this is an example of it flipped over. It actually has the answer. So the first one, there's no answer. And then when they flip it over to check their own work, which I love that they get to check their own work and kind of learn from their mistakes, it has the answer. And they can go back and fix it or however you want to do it at home. So that was a great little perk that I found on the website. So Singapore math kind of, it has steps. It starts off with the hands-on, then you move on to the pictorial, which they have wonderful pictures and explanations of. So they're understanding the concept through hands-on, through pictures, and then they go ahead and start to do more abstract work. So there's going to be some things that you need to purchase, especially for the younger grades, in addition to the workbook, because they really need that hands-on. This is an example of something we used a lot this year when we got to geometry, even my older child. These are tangrams, different shapes, and they have to put it together. And we use this to talk about area, to talk about volume with the manual, and they'll walk you through how to do it. And the things you need, usually the book will tell you in advance, if you look ahead, what materials you will need throughout the year for the next lessons coming up. So that's great. Also, we use this a lot with my second grader. I could imagine even younger grades would use it more. Let's see how to open this. Okay, this is tricky. Oh. So these are Cuisin rods, and what they're great for is counting by tens, counting by twos, that type of thing, but also it's great for teaching place values. So as you can see, I'm not sure if you could see the lines here. So this is a block of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could count by tens with this and whatnot. So we use this in the curriculum, and actually I believe in the manual was it was saying, go ahead and get these Cuisin rods for teaching. So this was my review for Singapore Math. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, you always have to do what works for your specific child and the, the parent who's teaching it. So every, every curriculum has its pros and cons, and you have to see what works for you. But for me, I really think Singapore Math does a great job teaching what math really is instead of just memorization. And another thing I really like about it is it will present the child with several ways of doing something, finding, for example, several ways of changing a improper fraction to a mixed number. They'll show you at least two ways to do it in, for the fourth grade curriculum. And the child gets to learn both and master both but then choose the one she feels most comfortable here, she feels most comfortable using. So I love that. And she can flip flop. She could say, okay, for this one, I prefer this method. And for this problem, it's gonna be too hard with this method, I'm gonna use the other method. So I like that. It's not forcing them to use one, or one method in particular, but it's exposing them to them and letting the child choose which one works for their brain. Because every child's brain, every person's brain works differently. What's easy for me might not be easy for my child and vice versa. So I really like, it just opens up a whole new world of math. So I recommend this. I will um, get back to you on next year's math. We're gonna do Singapore too. And I'll let you know how that goes for us. All right, happy homeschooling.